Hi guys, welcome to Bream Time. On this channel I show you underwater footage of my tension bream fishing sessions. Not that long ago I was contacted through my YouTube channel by a representative from Meleg Bates. The letter read something like, can we send you a box of our best stuff for you to try out on your channel? And that was a no-brainer. Of course they could. So this is the M1 package they sent me. The M1 range very much tastes like a high quality sausage. It has a strong, rich and very likable smoky flavor. But what they didn't know was that I had already bought their stuff. I found my leg baits on a small trade show I went to. I was presenting my YouTube channel and this brand was completely new to me, so I bought a bag full of products to try them out. The Bream really likes this bait, but the M1 boilies are really soft, which means that the roach can steal the boilies. And that's what happened in this first session. So my suggestion is that you buy one of their specialized hook baits. Here you can see how the bream is really looking for the boilies. But the boilies have already gone. The roach picked them up and left. Okay, so this is how I set it up. This is the soft method mix. This is the good stuff. Uh, it's like a ground bait only that this one is oil based. So you don't need to add any water if you don't want to. Uh, I add just a little bit of water, but um, just <clears throat> Wetting my hands is quite enough. Uh, so I have a mixture of my my own homemade particles. I have uh, some of these soft pellets. These are M1 soft pellets. I use some of those. And this soft things. Wet hands. Stir. And you, then you get a, a very squeezable thing here with lots of good things. So in each section of these method feeders I put two boilies. And that is because I have so much roach out there. So as soon as, st still when they have taken all this, and that could be, at times there could be, that could take a long time an hour or two. At other days it will take five to ten minutes and all the ground bait is and particles are just gone. And then in those cases I want to know that there's something out there attracting the fish. So that's why I put some additional boilies in the mix. Okay, so let's set it up. That maybe he ain't worth it Too bad I hate advice Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect It's so hard to decide Oh I know He got me good in his pocket I know that I'm just a treat Well the taste is better
Okay, here comes the bream and it's obviously very attractive to the boilies. It takes a good look and picks up several of the boilies. But what we really need to talk about is how important it is to use really, really sharp hooks. Here you can see the first bream picking up the bait which should have been a caught fish if the hook would have been sharper. Bream is one of the toughest fish to hook because their pickups are so gentle. If you, for example, compare that to a tench whose run is totally brutal, then you can use a quite dull hook and still get away with it and catch them. But you won't do that if you're fishing for bream. The bream demands a really, really sharp hook. Here we lost another fish that should have been on the bank. And here we lost another one. The reasons behind not catching can be several. Here we clearly have a bait that the fish likes, but the hook wasn't sharp enough, so I lose fish over and over. But finally, with some luck, we actually caught it, but um, we should probably have had at least caught five of them before we caught this one. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty here you can see the same pattern as in session one. Uh, bream very attracted by the M1 ground bait. Uh, pike moves in, that isn't too bad actually, because the bream comes back quite quickly. The roach is also very interested in the feeder. This is 10 minutes later. Uh, by now, all the ground bait is gone, the bream is still very interested in the feeder. There are a couple of boilies lying there just around the feeder. One of them is the hook bait, the other one is one of the free boilies. But after this cloud of roach have disappeared here, even the Hookbait is gone again. Uh, I often complain about things being unlucky. Uh, if this or that would have been the case, I should have caught the fish. But to be honest, uh, as you see here, Bream comes in, is very aggressive against the feeder again. Obviously thinks it's some kind of food. Comes in again and this time it actually gets hooked. Here you can see the action replay. Very aggressive to watch the feeder. Picks up the hook by accident. Gets hooked. A perfect hooking in the lower lip. And here we go. My life got really scared still. I myself hoping that you'll find your So to summarize, uh, the M1 boilies are clearly something that the fish really likes. Uh, I do suggest that you buy the hook version of the M1 boilies, so, you, uh, so you're sure that the hook bait stays on the hair. Something else that I really liked about the M1 range was the soft method mix because it was so quick to prepare. 
for all those sessions where you have limited time, the soft method mix is something that I'm going to consider. Thank you for watching, see you in the next episode.